<clears throat> What's up, people? Um, earlier, earlier today, I went to visit a friend of mine who works at a uh, hotel, motel, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so sitting in the lobby, minding my business. Uh, well, I actually having a conversation because there was no one else there except for my friend and myself. Um, someone comes in, wants a room. Great. You know, to be courteous, you cease the conversation, let them conduct their business, and you carry on. Woman comes in. That's fine. I didn't really notice her volume ex until it was, um, you know, told to me. Like she was speaking very quietly, like very nervously, like as if I was going to steal her information. Um, nonetheless, didn't pay it no mind, went on about my business. I didn't look her up and down, though somewhat, you know, I don't know. I just didn't really focus on her like that. Anyway, nonetheless, I don't know, 20, 30, 45 minutes later, I leave and I get a message saying that this individual uh, went to her room or something like that, but left because uh, she said that there was a bunch of people in the lobby and felt nervous for her felt nervous for her safety well um i mean i really don't think i'm looking all that menacing or like you know all that rough um you know i had on some jeans and my shirt hat you know glasses it's no big deal i mean i didn't say anything i, I wasn't talking vulgar um explicitly Though, I could have, but I didn't. So I don't know what the woman's problem was, but she ended up leaving and going to another hotel because of this. So, uh, to this individual, hey, I'm sorry if I scared the hell out of you. Uh, but in, maybe in her defense, maybe she's been through some circumstances or situations that I don't know anything about. So therefore she had to run because otherwise she would have gotten beat up, mugged, raped. Uh, maybe I might want to holler or try to get at her. Now nah, bug it. Maybe I might want to holler. What's up? You'll be supposed to, you know, no, I didn't want to do any of that. But it just really pisses you off sometimes that, you know, it's not, I don't. I don't know why in the hell you gotta be nervous. Like, as if I really want to do something to you. No, I don't want to do anything to you. I don't want your information. I don't want to perform any kind of identity theft. Um, I don't care if you was ass naked. I mean, I... Really? I mean, did I really look that scary that you felt bad for your safety? Like, I just wanted to steal from you? Like, come on, man. Come on, people. Wake the hell up. You know, not everybody is, is going to, um, I don't know. Not everybody's wanting to harm you. You know? I mean, hell, as far as I know, you could have been crazy. But it's just kind of disappointing sometimes that we still live in a society where people are fearful of a race. Why? I mean, unless you've been... In a situation or a circumstance where you're scared to death, maybe you might need to stay at home. Don't bring your ass out. You know, you don't know who the hell I am or what I am. Or, uh, you know, if no one has said anything directly to you that was threatening, I mean, I don't understand why somebody would want to leave. Or, you know, I mean, it's, it, for one, it's not my business. I don't, I don't own a business. So, you know, I wasn't losing money. But the fact that you left and went to another establishment because you said that there were what would say where there was a bunch of people and maybe it was reworded a whole different way so I, I don't know it's just I'm one person I'm not gonna hurt you you know do I really look that menacing like I just 
you know, come here, bitch, give me some money. You know, like, no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with people. Wake the hell up, you know. My advice for folks is this. We all got to die one day. So, and I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be able to fool the Lord, including myself. So you got to answer for your actions. And I don't know, maybe one day that circumstances will change and she'll open up. But in the meantime, between time, I'm not even, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset about it. But instead of like dogging her or calling her some kind of names, the only thing I could do is pray on it right now. So, you know, to this woman from wherever you were from, and you were talking real right because you didn't want me to get your information. So be it. So, in the meantime, between time, y'all have a great night and uh, and uh, whatever else, man. Peace.